All right, fellow Tarnished, <clears throat> welcome back to the playthrough of Elden Ring. This is New Game Plus. It's my first New Game Plus in Elden Ring. It's been a hoot. And I'm ready for the DLC. By the way, I'm Stubbs the Wizard, your host for this. Uh, the wizard here is named Justin Graymere. He is, in this iteration of play, he is a stealth mage. And what I mean by that is I restricted him a little bit, put, uh, shackled him, if you will, with, he can only use night spells. I also call them visibility spells. And there's his stats. You can see he's quite intelligent. He's a pure mage of 99. Intelligence. We'll get the vigor up to 60 and work on other stuff. And notice he has very little faith in things. And much of what is hidden remains hidden to him because he's, well, he's not curious. Which is reflected in Arcane of Nine. At any rate, because we're using the Invisibility Sorceries, I use Dual Wield Staves of Loss, which buff the damage by about 69%. And the Misericord is not for melee, but for backstabbing and critical hits. Uh, also things like uh, knocking the curse lichen off of mausoleums and things like that. Uh, this is armor that just looks stealthy and cool. Actually, I think it looks really cool. I really like it. These are the talismans I'm using uh, for now. A lot of times I'll change this one out with other things. <clears throat> so I wanted to take a moment. Um, well, when we left off, you can see I'm pointing right at my runes there. I had a situation. <laughs> I had a situation occur. We're going to head towards my runes. And my situation was I got fancy with myself at basically Sauron's Tower. Did a cloud kill, or I guess Night Maiden's Mist, on the... Uh, rats inside and the rats came out hey stop it I don't want to target you the rats came out to get me which surprised me and I was sort of handling them and I at one point did a panic roll and hey he tried to shoot me come on brother but at one time did a panic roll and uh, jumped off a cliff. I will say in my New Game Plus playthrough here, gravity has killed me more than any other... Um, let me go with the comet here. Gravity has killed me more than any other force enemies or otherwise. Uh, uh, Gravity is probably the most unforgiving of uh, forces, I suppose. And you wonder, and this is a question for Mindless Meat maybe, one of my buddies, uh, which I'll talk about here in a few minutes, but uh, gotta kinda wonder, if a fall from that cliff would actually have hurt me since I fell from nearly that height in the lava over at uh, Volcano Manor and was okay to wade around in the lava and kill things. So anyway, just being fun about it. But I, I mentioned uh, Mindless Meat. Uh, he's one of my buddies on here and um, I'm not great as another one, and they, they left some comments that I thought were pretty funny. Wherein, uh... Whoops. Things... Uh... I will get people that, that will say things about... Using the Misericord for backstabbing when I'm not allowed to do melee. So they're like, well, that's melee. The way I've answered them is like, well, it's not melee. Because I like doing criticals, and so I define it as not melee. 
and um, I'm not great. Gave me a good out. This is a good, good reasoning and logic. Uh, more so a great um, rationalization. That oh, I'm gonna get away this tower. That melee is more fighting and attacking back and forth, hand to hand, whereas backstacking someone is actually uh, an assassination. You know? And so I said, hey, I'm going to stick with that. You know, go with that definition. Uh, and because it is a good rationalization, <laughs> rather than just uh, oh shoot, I'm getting fried. There's my rooms. Okay, so we're gonna do this a little differently. So I I appreciate uh, I appreciate uh, I'm not great coming up with that rationalization for me. So that was nice of him. Of course mindless meat, who's I guess a purist and uh, expert in D and D. Like uh, I, I was, I cut my teeth on, which I think a lot of us cut our teeth. I'm using Amber Shark here. I think a lot of us cut our teeth in, uh, on D&D. They have no idea if there's going to be a giant rat here somewhere. Yeah, it is. I want to fall off here, though. Oh. Get hit by the frenzy. Don't want to get frenzied up. Well, anyway, mindless me said to him, being strong in the ways of being deep, <laughs> melee is either, you know, it's anything that's not ranged is those damage. Um, this is melee, you're, I mean, hitting somebody. And Technically, I have to say, why not you right from a technical standpoint? But from a, I want to do backstab to criticals while disallowing melee for this character, I think I'm not great brings up a great point. And I'm going with that. Even though, uh, well, I'm going to say they're both right. Even though. <laughs> <laughs> the positions are mutually exclusive, you know, uh, and it's, I don't know, it's kind of funny. You, you make, you know, you make friends on here, and, uh, I hate that kind of these guys. I wonder. I'm just cloud cool myself. Oh, let's get them. Look at that. That is, that is the easiest, oh, well, hello, sir. No, no. I'm stuck on the freaking ladder. Um. Anyway, I was going to say you find friends up here, you know, and, you know, you actually kind of close. It's kind of like, I don't know, I look at, uh, I'm not great, I'm getting hit here. And, uh, mindless to me, it's sort of each, a brother from another mother, if you will. That is not getting him. Alright, let's take time to sit here. So, anyway, um, you know, I, uh, I appreciate both their inputs and their encouraging. What's, and the way we met is we're all part of a group called the Free Time Creators Collective. So, yeah, no, no, sir. Get rid of the eye of Sauron. All right, we're doing okay. How many, how many rooms do I have? No, I don't want that. 66,000, that's not that much in New Game Plus. 
Uh, anyway, uh, the the group we're in is called the Free Time Creators Collective, and um, I'll put their links in the uh, there's wolves. Get them. I'll put their links in the description, and uh, you know it's about eight or nine uh, creators like me. I'm I'm not great. It's one of them. Uh, minus meets one of them, and you know you have other people like Plumberry Delicious, who uh, is actually I'm not great's wife, great gamer in her own right. You know, um, Big Baby J certainly, K Dog's Kennel, Holly's Adventure. Holly's Adventures, I think. I'll, I'll, I'll put it all in the, in the link. Our link's in the description. Iris and Ophris, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm probably gonna miss somebody, so I apologize if I miss anybody. Uh, Danny Shades Gaming, um, oh, Belmont Bruno. Oh, there's gonna be a guy come out here. Let me just get this, this done up. And I'm gonna try to use my maid's missed on him, I think. He will spawn right up here somewhere. Uh, Belmont Bruno. That's an interesting channel. He's part of the group as well. And, oh, there he is. And you will maybe pick up some Portuguese when you look at his channel. So that's pretty cool. Jumped in my own mist. Cause I'm a dillweed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come at me, brother. Oh man, the shockwave got me. The shockwave got me again. You aren't being unkind, sir. Embarrassing me in front of my viewers. Not real time. Anyway, that's the free time creators collective. And, uh, you know, we're just a bunch of uh, creators that uh, we're gamers. We like to, believe it or not, we like to game as gamers and we record gaming and there's. Yeah, um. I need the erudition from, oh, what's his face, Topes. Get up that tower. And there's probably nothing I need up that tower anyway. But we'll come back for it once we do uh, the academy. So anyway, um, When you see the links in the description, just uh, give them a look, see what you think. They are... Hmm. They're all, you know, fun people, nice people, very supportive, and that's kind of the idea. We just sort of support each other. And, uh, that'll be encouraging. Yeah, so appreciate that. And, uh... You know, you, it's interesting to me, the dynamic that's, that we have nowadays. So I'll just use, oh, I'm gonna, I can backstab this guy. This is where this is not melee. I'm gonna bust up his fire too, boom. Um, but anyway, what I was saying was you, you know, you look at, for example, the, the the two guys I missed, I mentioned, and I guess this really includes Plumberry as well, but, um, you know, I'm in Indiana, central Indiana, oh, here comes somebody, no sir, 
And <clears throat> I'm not great. It's down in Texas. Man, which way is his back? There we go. Uh, I accidentally melee him. I did not calculate which way was his back. Hi, guys. So there you go. Anyway, I'm in central Indiana. Um, I'm not great in Texas. Mindless Meat is up in the Pacific Northwest, I think up in Washington. Well, this guy's not going to make it. He used to have something there, I don't remember what it was. But what's cool about it is um, you become good friends with people. And by the way, in, in you know, 25 years ago, even maybe 30, that that wouldn't have happened. We, I wouldn't have gotten, you know, good friends from Texas and and Seattle, or well, Washington. You know, with that, that that quickly without that effort of you know going there and. Beating them order. Uh oh, they're on to me. They got a couple of once. Boom. So that's a pretty cool phenomenon. And, uh, you know, I always look forward to getting comments on and stuff like that. That was a real friendly thing. And, and that's the thing with everybody in that uh, Greatest Collective, real friendly. You know, I think like anything, some are closer to others, then others are closer to them, etc. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's humanity. And it's great, you know? And we're, we are a, there's going to be a rat up here. He's gone. We're, uh, a social species, you know, we're made to to seek out, you know, companionship and uh, togetherness kind of thing. We're not, we're not meant to be alone, in other words. Um, and there's a... I heard rat. Where's, where, where did the rat go? I'm hallucinating now. But there was a sociologist... Um, let's see, what was, what was his name? I always, I should say, it was, um, don't, re shoot, I, I just drew a blank on it. Right now there's a spider on my screen, which is, I like spiders, but he's right in the middle where my character is. That wasn't a rat. We're getting ready to fight bike up here. But anyway, the sociologist, um, something like Edward, not Edward, um, his last name is Ingval, though. Ingval? I don't remember. Oh, no, it's not Ingval. I think it's Bill Ingval. It's Irvin Goffman, was his name. And he wrote, he wrote some pretty good books that he was concerned with sort of micro-sociology. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, hello, Mr. Rat. Take that. He successfully guarded. Well, I thought him some sort of a nest here. This is an infestation right here. Whoa, there's a couple. One of these things Urban Goffman said, he wrote books and, and basically he liked and liked to play. And so it's not the, it's not that you would, you would lie or anything like that. It's, uh, although some people, I don't even know where I am. What in the world? Where have I gone? I need to get to that church up there. There's some flowers here. 
Well, I'm gonna explore it. All right, we're gonna have dueling mists. Look at that. Let's kill the little ones very quickly. Anyway, whatever Gotham wrote about was that he likened life to being um, sort of in a play. And we're always concerned about, you know, either joining in with the group or, you know, I don't know, impressing a mate, not, not being terribly unliked by whatever group. And <clears throat> what he, what he um, basically indicated is what you do is when you're, with the group. Now, people take this wrong way and say, well, you're like, no, I don't do that, I don't lie. It's not about lying, but what you do is you will accentuate the parts of you that are sort of liked by the group and, and not be as prominent with the ones that aren't liked. That's just human nature. Uh, you know, for example, uh, Let's say you have, you're okay with blue language. You know, I was in the army. I've, I've used a colorful metaphor. You know, but if you go into a church, you know, like on Sunday or whatever, you, you, you don't go in and use that kind of language. Well, why is that? Well, you don't, you don't want to really be really disliked by, by the people. You know, and you know, it's, it's impolite. So forth, anyway. But anyway, that was Irving Goffman's take on it. Uh, pretty interesting read. If you're gonna look it up, it's Irving with an E. G O F F M A N. And all that to make the point that we are a social species we want, to, we want to connect with other humans and it's just interesting you, you're ready made with the social media and I know social media can be used for bad purposes I, I get that I don't think there's anything up here worth getting I've been Miyazaki But the, I guess the, the, what I'm saying is, you have, really worldwide now, you have just instant communication with people you never have been able to do that with uh, in the past. And so you look at something like gaming, well, we have an instant connection, right? Because we have something in common. And as everyone probably realizes, especially since I said I was from Indiana, <laughs> I'm an American. Oh, there's something down here. I don't think I've ever been down here before. I just, I started wandering because I was, I thought I was going to Why not? Uh, here we go. But the thing is, is you have built-in um, connections with people, and <clears throat> what I was saying was, is I'm an American, and many people realize our country's pretty divided right now. You know, it's not the most divided it's ever been. That's kind of a weird thing to say, but uh, it can feel that way, I suppose. But the thing is, is I remember back back in the day, you know, if you were a... Good Lord, this is an infestation of flowers. 
had enough of it. But if you were, uh, you know, the, the two political parties here, Democrat and Republican, the, that's also part of the problem is there's only two parties. Well, there's more, there's more than two parties, but it's, I mean, you don't have, other parties don't have much of a chance. Uh, anyway, but back in the day, you could be a Democrat, talk to a Republican, you could be conservative, talk to a liberal, what, what have you, and what would happen is you'd find common ground. And, uh, and no, you wouldn't agree on everything. You'd be like, well, I don't agree on that, but you can have a conversation, you know, w without all this tribalism of, well, I can't like you because you think differently than me, and that's our strength. I think as a country, um, you know, how I said the humans all see that connection. We are, as Americans, all connected by this idea of we're allowed to have free thought. That's part of our national culture, and um, we can talk, we can argue, we can yell at each other, and come to some common ground on stuff. And, and I, my lamentation just is that's been a little bit degraded in my country this, this time, you know. And I say the, uh, you know, I don't, I don't go into politics really in these videos. Um, it's not the place for it probably, but I will leave you with this. I think the, the well, heck, the main problem with society, or let's say just government, and the governing of a populace, the main problem <laughs> is that the politicians are in charge, you know? And I don't remember what philosopher said it. I can't, I don't recall, but it may have been Voltaire. Voltaire gets, gets credit for a lot of things from other people, though. Uh, so it may not have been. Oh, this is a cloud kill waiting to happen. Look at this. But what, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever Flopper once said that uh, there's those that seek power are those that are least suited to wield it. So when you look at um, you know, the political class of people that just desire power. And this is not even a, a partisan thing. It's not Democrat or Republican. It's just politicians in general. They want to have control, you know? And they desire power. And that's what they do. That's their kind of their job. And they're, they, end up, they end up with... Um, Senile people in government, we end up with um, someone like we'll just be in a press conference and just freeze and have some sort of episode, cause, you know, because they're like 87. I mean, they remember when I'm being summoned, all right. They remember when dirt was invented, you know, <laughs> like, well, you're, you know. But anyway, but that's what happens. They're, they want power. Anyway, that's about as political as, as I'll get. I, oh, I'm all the way up here. Let me go find. Paid by Bloody Finger, I shan. I had very little chance at getting that to go. Sorry, buddy. That's interesting. It took me there, and I haven't even been there yet. Anywho, yeah, we gotta get to that church up there, so. As uh, Freddie Mercury put it, get in your bikes and ride.
I'll log get on my torrent and ride. Frenzy first. Oh, reset him. That's interesting. Okay, reset him. But not the other. Alright, so this is going to be a test. Of... This ghost has to say. Well, isn't that special? I feel like the church lady. I was going to do the, uh, Lord of Chaos ending, but I, um, I was worried that the DLC might need Melina, which you can't have after you burn the bird tree. That ending? Where's my? There he is. Oh no. See, they won't dodge. They have no idea the night spells are being cast, so it makes some things very trivial. He's actually a little bit difficult <laughs> uh, with melee and things like that. He can be. All right, let's, let's light this fire. Gold rune one. Now I can have that operation. Push the grass. Sacred tear, which I can't use anymore. Bigger maiden. So this is one of the places that you could actually get blood from a maiden if you're doing uh, Vare's, you know, sort of messed up quest. Uh, so let's see here. Wow, this one's gone on awfully long. So I'm gonna I'm gonna probably end it here. And uh, probably the next one I will try not to wax so eloquently on sociology. But uh, at any rate, uh, look in the look in the description. I'll, I'll put links into the Free Time Creators Collective. Give them a look. See what you think. And as of this video, if you click a like, I'd appreciate that. Uh, subscribe would be awesome. I appreciate comments. I'll read them and respond to all of them. And I thank you for watching. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making them. Thanks.